talked about this earlier today. If you, if you look at the reason that um, the iPod exists and that Apple's in that marketplace, um, it's because these really great Japanese consumer electronics companies who kind of own the portable music market uh, for a long, long, invented it and owned it, uh, couldn't write, so, couldn't do the appropriate software. Couldn't conceive of and implement the appropriate software. Because an iPod's really just software. It's software in the iPod itself, it's software on the PC or the Mac, and it's software in the cloud for the store. And it's in a beautiful box, but it's software. Um, if you look at what a Mac is, uh, it's, it's OS X. Right? It's in a beautiful box, but it's, it's OS X. And if you look at what an iPhone will hopefully be, it's software. And so the, the, the big secret about Apple, of course, not so big secret maybe, is that Apple views itself as a software company. And there aren't very many software companies left. And Microsoft is a software company. And so you know, we, we look at what they do, and, and, and we think some of it's really great. We think some of it's, a little bit of it's competitive, and most of it's not. You know, we, we don't have a belief that the Mac is going to take over 80% of the PC market. You know, we, we're really happy when our market share goes up a point, uh, and we love that, and we work real hard at it. But Apple's fundamentally a software company, and there's not a lot of us left, and Microsoft's one of them.